Hey guys, welcome to VRAC. So, hopefully you guys checked out my stream earlier. Had some crazy stuff happening while I was playing Fortnite with the fiance, Michaela. Had a couple of egg explosions. Uh, if you'd like to see more, check out my Facebook, Matthew Kozark at Facebook. It's public, so you'll be able to see it without having to add me. And uh, check out my streams on Fortnite, because they're becoming pretty good. Now, today's video... I'm going to talk about my favorite collector's editions that I own. And I would like for you guys to also comment down below on what some of your favorite collector's editions for video games are. Because I have quite a few here, so it's going to take a second to go through them. But I'm a sucker for collector's editions when they're done right for franchise, franchises that I love. So the first one here is kind of a cheat. Because it's not a collector's edition. It's actually a launch edition. And I'm going to get through the couple of he the first three here that are... I guess the, the next two are collector's editions. This one's definitely a launch. It's Stella Glow for 3DS. This was a big box release for the launch edition of Stella Glow, which is an amazing game, a lot like Fire Emblem. And I just like this so much because it's a big box. I'm a sucker for big boxes. The game was amazing. And this comes with a soundtrack, a keychain, and a fabric poster, all in this big box. And it was no more expensive than just the normal game. 3ds game for 40 bucks if you had the pleasure of playing stella glow you know why this collect or this launch edition is so sweet and if you haven't you really should check it out it is a nice hidden gem for 3ds a little hard to find but it is really worth having and uh it's just really nice i actually have the poster hung up or not the poster the fabric poster hung up in the living room so i can't really pull that out and i'm not really going to pull out a lot of these collector's editions i'm just going to show them to you I don't really like to unbox them too much and mess with, uh, you know, the cardboard up here. I've already opened this one up a lot. So, but that's the launch edition. I'm a sucker for those launch editions. If you want me to buy your game when it first comes out, just throw it in a bigger cardboard box and shove, like, a soundtrack in there, and I'll buy it because that's exactly what I did with this Play Asia exclusive, Shikondo. I think I pronounced that correctly. This is a shmup for Switch. It was a Play Asia exclusive, and this is the special edition. Now, this is a limited release. Uh, I have number 1597, and it is a shmup. And I, the reason that I said just throw a big box and a soundtrack in there is because that's all that this collector's edition comes with, but it is nice. It's a smaller box than I thought it would be, but it just fits so perfect on the shelf, and it's, like I said, I'm just a sucker for big boxes. Uh, but it comes with an original soundtrack, a certificate, and a manual. So, not a lot to this one, but it's a shmup. I like collecting shmups, and I like big boxes. And I like collecting for Switch. It's just a really nice console to collect for. You know, I'm gonna have to try to create a pile here. I didn't really prepare for this. Now, the next one is another PlayAsia exclusive shmup, RXN. Now, this one has a lot more to it. I was a lot happier getting this one in the mail. So, this comes with the game, comes with the manual, but it also comes with a steel book separate from the game case. So, you get two cases in this one a collectible steel book that comes in a really, really nice. Uh, actually, I'm going to open this one up and show you because this is one of my favorite collector's editions right here. I keep it, it is opened, just because it's in the plastic doesn't mean I don't open them. I open all of my games unless somehow I have an extra copy. And this one I left a little not sealed, so it'd be easier to open it up in the future. But in this nice, and this is like a wax plastic that they have in here little slip cover it just it's just nice to the touch it's soft and there's that steel book for rxn you see you got that and then you open it up and it's got some of the characters on the inside and that is something that they did not have to do they did not have to include a steel book in this collector's edition along with the original case almost all collector's editions just give you this if they're going to include a steel book that's what you're getting the game in this one knows what us collectors like so you get a sticker pack you get a manual and then you get that steel book the 
original case for it. And then you get an art book along with this big box. And I like that the Play Asia's come in this resealable plastic seal just to keep it in good shape. Like, Play Asia knows what us collectors over here really like, to be honest. And I think that the, a lot of their exclusives and limited releases that they've had, um, the, the first couple were amazing, like these. But I the next ones, they've been releasing games that I'm just not at all interested in. And uh, even by like a limited run or, you know, standard like that, I'm just going to put this back in the plastic later because I'm tearing it right now. Oh, no, wait. I got it. It's going in. But they had like Death Road to Canada, I think was one. It looked like a zombie game. I didn't look up the footage but it also just didn't look interesting and I believe that this was their second or third R RXN was their second or third exclusive and then Chicondo was like their th second or third they came one after another and they look so nice together up on there and they're shmups I wish they would have kept doing shmups or maybe just done some RPGs like they they gotta know that that's what collectors like. They gotta see that these ones probably sold a lot better than the others. So, I really like what they're doing. I just wish that they would release some more games that I myself am interested in. And really interested in RPGs. Especially some of the these next two collector's editions here for the Wii U. And uh, the Wii U didn't have a lot of collector's editions. It had some launch editions, big boxes, but not a lot of collector's editions. Most of the collector's editions were actually only available in the Nintendo World Store in New York. So those are extremely hard to find, but these were a little bit wider of a release. And for games that I think really deserve a collector's edition, I'm a sucker for Fire Emblem. A lot of people weren't too hyped on this game, but Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE is a Wii U RPG that featured the Fire Emblem characters, but in a... Now, I'm not very familiar with the franchise, but it's a crossover with... Uh, you know what? I can't... Uh, you know. Look it up. You'll figure it out. It's a crossover with another game that's more focused on, uh, like, Pokemon-like battles, but with demons. So, this game I played, it's actually pretty fun. It got a lot of hate when it came out, but it's not a bad game at all. And I think that this is going to be one of those games that when you buy a Wii U collecting for in the future... You're going to be like, you got to get Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE because it's an exclusive and it is a good RPG. Now, this collector's edition, I actually haven't opened up in a while. And I'm looking here for info, but I think that it just has like, okay. It comes with a game, an art book, and a soundtrack. And I personally think that the art book and soundtracks, that's what that's some standards in a in a collector's edition. If you're going to release a pretty, I don't want to say bare bones collector's edition because I really like just simple ones like this that don't go for too much more. But those are things that you got to include. An art book, maybe a steel book, and a soundtrack. Otherwise, what, what are you giving me? Just a box? But I really like this collector's edition. It's nice up on the shelf. And I'm a sucker for Fire Emblem collector's editions. And I'm a sucker for Xenoblade. This is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yes, it got a collector's edition. And this game is another game that's exclusive to Wii U. It is an awesome RPG. It, it takes forever. I have not beat this game, but I've put in like 100, 100 to 120 hours into it. And I didn't even get the skill. I'm just doing all the side missions. It's insane. Anybody that's played Xenoblade Chronicles knows that these games will just take up your whole life. This is an amazing collector's edition. You got the big box here. It also comes with a 100 plus page art book with breathtaking art. I've looked through it a couple of times. As well as you got this really cool matted art card. It's sort of like a 3D card. And you also have a digital soundtrack on a metal USB drive. It's dope. This is a dope collector's edition. If you're trying to collect for Wii U or just collect for collector's editions in general if you can find this or just search it out pick it up it's nice it is a nice thing to have on your shelf with the other collector's editions now 
like I said, I'm a sucker for Fire Emblem Collector's Editions and Xenoblade. Anytime they come out with a Fire Emblem Collector's Edition, I gotta get it. But you know that those things are impossible to get because they sell out instantly. Every single one of them has. I'm still trying to repurchase the Fire Emblem Fates Collector's Edition with Conquest and all, all three games on one. I used to have it, but it's so expensive now. Um, the one that is actually pretty cheap, though, is Fire Emblem Echoes for 3DS. And this is arguably almost a better collector's edition. I mean, the other one came with uh, the third game that you could only get physical on that cart, which was a really nice touch, but this one is giant, and the art book is huge in here. Along with a three-pin set of, you know, the pixelated versions of the characters and a soundtrack, this one you could still pick up online for, like, the same price as the game when it came out, like, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. If you find it a deal, they made a bunch of these because Conquest sold so well. But this one, I don't know why it didn't sell as well. It's just as good as Conquest, and it also has 3D parts where you can run around as the characters. This is a dope collector's edition. I love having it up there. It's giant. It sits like a giant book, and it looks so nice on your shelf. It's another one of my favorites. And if you guys also have these collector's editions and the ones that I'm bringing up come to your mind as, yeah, those are one of my favorites too, let me know. We can, you know, fan out over them. But another Xenoblade collector's edition has to be my second favorite that I own of collector's editions. This is a heavy... I mean, I could probably kill somebody with this. It's so heavy. It contains a giant hardcover art book, uh, two soundtracks, and then a steel book case for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, along with this beautiful holographic cover that is also 3D pressed out. It is an insane collector's edition, and you can still order this for the like retail price of 100 bucks. Get this if you want to get Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Get this collector's edition because it is going to be worth money later. This is one of those quality releases that people look at and go, damn, I need that. And you're going to need it. It's my second favorite collector's edition. The only reason that it is not my first favorite, it, you will see and you'll know why. But it is, I will say it is my first favorite complete collector's edition. Unfortunately, my first favorite collector's edition, I only have one part of it too. Had the whole part, but stuff happens. Now, what I've shown is a whole lot of collector's editions that are uh, like, you know, art books and soundtracks and stuff like that. But do you remember the heyday back in Xbox 360 and PS3 where every collector's edition would have like a giant statue and like a giant flag that came with it? Like... Assassin's Creed really knew how to put out some collector's editions there for a little bit. For about two or three games, I was like, I'm always buying an Assassin's Creed collector's edition. And that's what I did. Assassin's Creed 3 is my favorite Assassin's Creed. As you can see, I have the post or the flag up there. And this statue, which I am the biggest sucker for collector's editions that come with statues. These were insane collector's editions back in the day with 360 PS3. You would get so much stuff for having like a $100, $110 collector's edition, which I paid for the Xenoblade with a hardcover book and a soundtrack. And you get so much more, or you used to. Now, I love those ones that I have, but it's just so much bang for your buck with these ones. And I'm pretty sure that you could pick up most of these collector's editions for pennies on the dollar of what you used to have to pay for them. I know I got this on clearance for 40 bucks at GameStop. It was crazy. And now, there's two collector's editions left. This is a modern gen collector's edition. Mortal Kombat X. It is one of the only collector's edition that wasn't Nintendo that came out for like Xbox One, PS4, that I loved, okay? This thing is sleek. When you take off this slip cover, you have like an artistic box almost. You look at this and it is sleek. This comes off. 
and you have these foam inserts, which would hold the statue that I have down there. But when you take it out, it actually comes with a c collectible card, which I just love. There is something classy about this collector's edition. Whoever put this together, you know, I think that they were actually advertising that they had a special company that put this together just to make it feel so classy. And I believe this came with the first season pass. So that's always good. Whenever you're getting a season pass, you buy a collector's edition, you better get the season pass. Uh, and the Scorpion figure, as along with, and this is the part that I love, you got this rendition of Scorpion, okay? And it's by Cors Corsair. Well, that's a computer company. It can't be Corsair. But it uh, looks like Corsair. An artist created this rendition which I like to say looks like a Jackie Chan Adventures version of Scorpion, right? And that's something Jackie Chan would fight in that cartoon. You got the skin of this statue in the game. It was amazing. Because anytime you played online, you were like, I got this dope collector's edition. And it was just awesome to have this statue, this rendition of Scorpion. It's amazing. It's one of my favorites. I love having it. And it is classy. Now, my number one favorite collector's edition, I only have one part of it too. I bought the whole collector's edition, but I lost the coasters, the box got damaged, and it was such a nice box. And then the actual unit got damaged. The unit stopped. Uh, a lot of people have had problems with these, but it was a super limited collector's edition. A lot of GameStops only got two, one for each console. The Juggernog edition of Black Ops 3. Now mine is beat to hell. Had some candles that melted down onto it, which I think adds a little character. I mean, it kind of blends in with the whole Juggernog beat up looking thing. But did you know that if your cat knocks this thing off your shelf, the little top here will just pop right off and then jam in there. So it, it's it's pretty beat up, but this thing is awesome. I think it just needs some Freon, to be honest. So I'm just going to get in there at some point, try to see if I can fill it up. And hold a 12-pack of Mountain Dew or Bud Light, whatever you're feeling for the night. And you can just put this thing right next to your Xbox or PC and you're set. I mean, it is dope. But... Do not lose this proprietary freaking cord, all right? Look at that. That, I lost it, and I'm so happy I found it before I moved back in the day. But those are, I've looked online, and I might be wrong, but those are proprietary to this unit, okay? You cannot find that charger without having to shove shove out another five hundred dollars is what these things are going for so this is a just an awesome unit i mean this has to be the coolest thing i've ever gotten in a collector's edition a mini fridge functioning and if it was fully functioning it would light up here on the top and every time you open it it made the sounds from zombies it's so cool how can you beat that this is by far my favorite collector's edition. What are some of your favorite collector's editions? Comment down below, whether you own them or don't, whether they're on your Holy Grails list, things that you've just been wanting, collector's editions you wish you had, or collector's editions that you do have. What are some games that you actually wish would have had a collector's edition? Let me know down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting here and letting me just nerd out with you guys. Uh, and have a great night. Thanks for watching V-Rack.